he's the difficulty, doing. Difficulty though, Destroy does not get to side lane this game. How do you do it into that kind of dive Incoming. threat? Incoming. Maybe they can try and punish though. Flash Q from Elramir into the seat and the DCs on Peach. Surely a kick onto three gives him safe now for no good luck to go around. The Vanguard dead will be, he leads the charge. Paris wild growth, but it's just more to take down. He's cut down a side cost that goes gone, but surely it's nowhere to go. Under the tower goes Funky, and it's with style for the Unicorns of Love. Sexy edition, get a triple kill. Seen on our screen right now. <laughs> Every lane is going to be volatile. There's opportunities to make plays all over the map. We need to keep an eye on this guy and his pathing because he has to shine in the early game. He's the one guy that has to set up unicorns. Three minutes in. Eyes on Peach in the early game for the unicorns of love. On the other side, Istanbul Wildcats, very much a team fight comp. Yep. You do have threat on that back line, you do have threat on Funky. The question is whether having this Lulu will negate some of their agency in the early game. Will Paris still be able to make those plays? Or will Bow and uh, sorry, Kofti and Elvamir step up to do it? I believe our casters are almost ready for us to hand over to them. I'm just waiting for the signal, which you guys can't hear, but I can hear when it happens in my ear. Uh -huh. And uh, when they are ready, they say, hey, Medic, it's time to go. They haven't said that yet, so I'm just going to keep talking okay. for a little while as we build up. First fight of the game, the first ultimates of the game, and seeing how that summoner spellbook can affect it. One thing we haven't uh, talked about at all is the fact that the map has been split in half and beat spot. Flash, flash, Paris is being forced away, but Peach is over the wall. The ward hops in, and that ward is the hospital ward. Down goes Peach, first blood. Sorry, down goes Le Lulu to Peach for first blood. Oh, and that's giving me a little bit deja vu of the last game as well. You're extremely squishy, Ooh. Peach. Playing aggressive right there, trying to get down the HP bar of Bao, meaning he's not going to be as comfortable in the laning phase. And again, Play doors on both side. Lulu is extremely squishy. You can punish the early game. You can technically take her flash. But right here, they take the flash, they take the HP bar as well, and they can rinse and repeat. To support, you can see Elramir is in the area, but I don't know how much they're going to want to contest. They are going to start walking. Um, 3v3 in the river, potentially Lissandra available. first in the river, though. Level I don't think available. you want this. So risky. Let's see. We'll step forward. Here's the brawl. So difficult to walk through. Door goes up. Not required. By the Eclipse onto Peach, has a ward up. Now Elramir is a little deep. We'll need to get over the wall. Winning for a Q, steps forward, gets the witness fight. No flash. Paris goes down again. This Lulu is just not in. Over the wall with another ward hop. And Bao needs to be so afraid. Got a couple chakrams to work with. But even with that close range. Oh! Double kill to Peach. Who needs Mario? Peach does their own tricks. Yeah, needs another one up to get out of that one. Bao hits the floor and the consistent carry for the Wildcats is having an absolute nightmare in this early game, having so much pressure put onto his lane. Again, very uncharacteristic. You know that Lissandra is walking into the river first. You know you're playing it into three versus four. And you've got Aurelia with the item that uh, John Mata called just the win item in the Blade of the Ruin King. Check out got this respect. Yeah. You've got... First item, Gore Drinker complete, a dive and, a a and a Herald available, destroy. Maybe about to have his name turned against him here. There's a slicing Melcher, but the Vanguard Dutch, the kick, the Q, and it is easy as you like. Superb combo in the top lane. You're just two squishes, the cannon to deal with a fairly sin on a side lane. Peach making use of it, but at least there is a cross map. At least there is some gold now going over to Bao on this FLS. We know how powerful Bao has been through his competition. That's something for the Wildcats. It's just paling in comparison with Mask in an individual advantage. Not going to be a great damage source though. You're asking the cannon who's also behind to try and add in a little bit more so it's not just Bao trying to be the damage profile for the Wildcats. Look on to Pill. Catch on to Peach. Gonna be Chop. Goes down. That's so much of your gold lead. He is eaten alive. And that'll be a massive pick up. They get the jungler before the soul point fight. That was strange when it comes to these team fights. So if Aphelios has the right guns and the spacing from his team, oh, I think it very easily do it. The difficulty though, Destroy does not get to side lane this game. How do you do it into that kind of dive Incoming, threat? Incoming. Maybe they can try and punish though. Flash Q from Elramir into the seat. And the DC's on Peach. Surely a kick onto three gives him safe now for no good luck to go around. The Vanguard dead will be he leads the charge. Paris wild growth, but it's just more to take down. He's cut down a side cost that goes gone, but surely it's nowhere to go. Under the tower goes Funky, and it's with style for the Unicorns of Love. Sexy edition, get a triple
triple kill onto their AD carry. And Fener does it again. This top laner, he's not been the main char character in game two, but that ultimate groups them all up, allows Peach some time to get to his second round of basic cooldowns, and Unicorns clean up house. This might just be the play that breaks the back of game two. Yeah. Make a play because they're technically threatened in Baron. Of course, they haven't taken the precaution of clearing out the vision of yeah. Baron. So Wildcats knew 100% they're not there. Flash Q trying to get in, but the Ring of Frost just holds them on ice. And it's looking like the ice and a more oh. just trying to go to the backside. But the Joker's already dead. Vanguard dead onto the Vinx. Onto the back line. Mix Venor could continue to rip through them. Blade surging his way to what could be a game two victory. Copter now must desperately spirit surge away. Flash as well. Cannot stand and fight against this Aurelia. To the Baron they go. A prize earned from bot? a fight in the middle. Go down. Make sure that wave is shoving. It gives a lot of time to get these shoves on. Oh, destroy. You don't want to be there, my friend. But wait, the 4v1 Venor could do so much work. Wildcard comes through. CC to place healing up so much. Finally, he goes down, but it takes four members and a hell of a lot of skills. All the while, the mid lane inhibitor turret is under siege. It falls, and the inhibitor sure to fall after. Okay, you kill Venor. You get him down for the first time this game, but you don't have the vial. Now, that's the best you're going to get out of this. Superior than Wildcats. It is an Elder Flip, a Baron Flip, or Bust. You're already down one inhibitor. And now the Infernal Soul to boot, and they are... And raring to go, Fire and Fury, supposed to be a Thalios' deal, Ooh. but 200 years just doesn't matter when you're spending it all in the grave, it feels like. Destroy falls down, Bow's still alive, but I don't know what he can do at this point. Another inhibitor falls and 4v5 is Paris. It's the wrong end of a rocket. That wild growth has had some weed killer put on it. Unicorn's pushing into the base. Gets the door put up in front of him, keeps him alive. Like he continues to play bodyguard. The moonlight vigil comes through, but they've been diving in the moonlight. It feels like Paris goes down. The infernal soul causes burn after burn, and they are left as cinders, ash in the wind. Unicorns trample all over the wildcats in game two. They're up to a no. They might be looking for a 3-0 in this series.